example, Yuri Gagarin made his flight into the unknown. Uh, for people who uh, do not understand what I am talking about in terms of the scale of the event, uh, you better look up uh, the, what is called British Pathé, I believe. This is the uh, uh, video uh, uh, reports and uh, news as presented by British uh, at the time when they actually did have a serious media. And he was, the way uh, Yuri Gagarin was accepted, for example, in Buckingham Palace, and he, everywhere he went, from the United States to Great Britain to Italy to what have you, and uh, India, he had uh, millions of people meeting him. Uh, a few him. And moments the later. The event was so huge that, of course, You're absolutely right. It inflates the term until it uh, starts losing all meaning. But what happens mm -hmm. is that also is that well, because it inflates the term step, until it doesn't really matter all a lot of truly crazy people start the exactly. currency who are spouting exactly. things that are not on um, that are obviously untrue uh, let me give you a specific example that's what i was trying to say <laughs> yes, there are a lot of yes. people now who, who are saying that uh, the americans never landed on the moon that's self-evidently not the true. Uh, they went to the moon. they landed there and I, I can i can say with some authority because uh, I, I have a background in filming, so whenever I look at a picture that they took on the moon, I say, yeah, the only place they could have taken that because of the lighting is on the moon. There's no other place yeah. possible on Earth that they could have taken that photograph or those series of photographs or videos or whatever, yeah. right? And they went four times. If they'd gone once, maybe I'll believe, but four times? Come on. Mm -hmm. and, and, I mean, that, and that's just prima facie to say. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, see, because people like the three of us, are, are going to be labeled conspiracy theorists true. because we say that the Our Americans blew up North Korea, which is self-evident. Then what yeah. happens is that the, the information the space States itself States becomes um, not merely democratized, but it gives spaces to things that are, that are obviously not untrue. That are obviously untrue. So let me give you a specific example. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of yes. people now who, who are saying that uh, the Americans never landed on the moon. That's self-evidently not true. They went to they landed there, and I, I, I can I can say with some authority that are, because, not, um, that are obviously untrue. I'm trying to give you a specific example. example. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, that is, yes. I can I can say with some authority that, because uh, the Americans are are not, um, that are obviously uh, untrue. Not true. Let me give you a specific they example. Went That's went what I was trying to say. I, I, I can say with some authority now who who are saying that uh, the Americans never landed on the moon. That's self-evidently not true. They went to the moon. They landed there. And I, 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 can, I can say with some authority because... They landed there. And I, 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 can, I can say with some authority because... I can say with some authority because... Think big. We haven't been thinking so big for a long time, but we're thinking big again as a country. So we know what there's in space. Infinity and Beyonce is infinity. <laughs> <laughs> it could be infinity. We really don't know that, but it could be. There's got to be something, but it could be infinity, right? Okay. All right.